So the time has finally come to share with you guys this interesting adventure that I've been on for about a year and a half now and something that I'm so proud to introduce and talk to you about today. I'm talking about my collaboration with Zaharoff called Business Over Pleasure. Stay tuned. So before we jump into any note breakdowns or look at presentations or anything like that, bear with me for a little bit. I got a little bit of a backstory for this, obviously, because this is a, a unique experience to say the very least. Um, I remember around October-ish 2019 was the first time George brought this idea of this project up to me. And, you know, he started going over, you know, some of the things he'd like to accomplish with, and the, the premise behind it was giving certain content creators the experience while taking away a lot of the obstacles hurdles and costs that you actually faced when you face when creating a top level you know all natural oil fragrance from start to finish uh, as far as presentations production briefs dealing with the perfumer dealing with the manufacturing side marketing manufacturing bringing a product to market um, and a lot of these hurdles were taken away and we were allowed the freedom to be as creative as we wanted to be. There was no limitations on what we could or could not do with our fragrance. And, uh, and it was a collaborative effort with George specifically because he's a designer at heart. He loves to create on the packaging, but he gave us the creative, the creative freedom to just do whatever the hell we wanted with our fragrances. And I just can't imagine too many companies, if any at all, allowing the level of freedom that George gave us. And immediately when I got off the phone I knew exactly what I wanted to do I started writing stuff down getting an idea top mid and base of what I'd like it to be because there's a lot of notes that I'm really fond of in, a, in fragrances that I find bring a lot of character to every fragrance they're involved in notes like Sichuan pepper ginger iris guayac wood is some of the main notes I wanted to make sure that were in my fragrance to really bring to life the vision that I had for it and the vision I had was at the time was when I was in the car, the luxury side of the car business and it was more of a professional setting being with Mercedes and stuff like that uh, to where I really like the office style fragrance to where it's inoffensive yet I really wanted something that brought to life some of the things that I love in a fragrance at the same time while not being a blue fragrance which I know a lot of you assumed I would make a blue fragrance it has some aspects of being blue essentially where it's versatile, it's serious yet playful, it's made for the man that has laser-like tunnel vision focus to set goals, achieve those goals, be successful at everything he does, while at the same time, in his personal and private time, knows how to play hard and really enjoy life. So that's the fragrance I really wanted to bring to life. So after I created my brief and submitted it to Mon, they paired me with legendary perfumer Claude Deere, and I, I couldn't have asked for a better pairing than with Claude because he is a legend in the world of perfumery and every time I've talked on the phone with Claude you know I'm a very talkative person it's my thing you know gift a gab I like to talk I don't say a whole lot when I'm on the phone with Claude I ask questions we crack jokes but I listen a lot more than I talk one of those two ears one mouth type of situations because he has a wealth of industry artistry and the creativity side of perfumery to just give. If you just shut up and listen to Claude, you can learn so much, which I was blessed and privileged to learn a lot from Claude Deere over the last year and a half. Um, that man is a genius. He was really able to bring to life what I wanted. So I'm going to put everything on screen for you guys. So here you can see the bottle rotating and the note breakdown. In the top, I wanted something very fresh and very spicy at the same time. And then once you, and it's a very nuanced, so Sichuan pepper is known for nuancing very well. Uh, it's a fleeting spice. It comes and goes rather quickly. And then iris had to be in my fragrance. It's actually in the heart and the base, but I didn't want to overcomplicate things by putting it in the note breakdown twice, but it's actually, uh, there's about 80% Florentine iris oil in this fragrance. Um, and the reason for the guayac wood and the Palo Santo is I wanted woods that bring nuances 
you know I wanted this to be a strong woody base to this fragrance but a woody base that had a lot of character so up top you're getting that freshness you're getting the fresh a touch of the fresh florals lily a little bit of the iris it's not really powdery up top while at the same time you get all that spiciness and that bright opening that's, that ginger can provide. I love the crisp, bright aspect of a really well done ginger oil in a fragrance. And then as it starts to go into the heart and some of that freshness starts to fade, the florals and the woods really take over in this fragrance. The lily doesn't really show a strong presence, but the iris sure does. Like I said, it's in the, it's in the mid and in the base, uh, but it really is the overall heart of the fragrance because I wanted to make an iris fragrance that I haven't smelled before because leading up to this, I was really starting to dig iris a lot. And then once I, this opportunity presented itself, I started buying up all of the most popular iris fragrances to make sure what I wanted to create was not comparable or the same smell as those. I wanted to make a unique iris fragrance that spoke to me personally. Regardless of if anyone else will enjoy it, I wanted to be able to enjoy it, you know? So it's it, the experience we had here. I mean, you'll see a lot of different clips playing in the corner of the screen because um, I kept a video diary throughout all of this. Um, with the packaging on this one let's take a quick look at this bottle again so obviously my favorite color is blue i know when i teased with some of the pictures of my uh, cap people assumed blue fragrance but if you'll notice right here there's a playing card style to the bottle it's frosted and you see through here it's actually george and myself business over pleasure george in the suit and then myself in the polo shirt and you know I had to have a flat bill to stay true to myself that comes to life here in the packaging I love the way this came out so I have some of the sketches playing in the corner as well so I really wanted to encapsulate the whole business and casual side of what I wanted to do with business over pleasure so I was able to as you see here we're holding the Zahar off bottles I have my polo shirt as well as my flat bill hat George in the suit George is a friend of mine and I really wanted to show that this is a, coll a true collaboration and incorporate both of us into the packaging so I had the idea of I kept coming up with this split idea of something business related and something laid back and casual and I submitted several rough sketches to George and he came up with this playing card idea it was a jack of spades that he showed me that was the basis for this design and it just makes complete sense because I'm a risk taker, especially professionally. You know, I'm the whole life is a gamble type of theme with my life. You know, uh, poker, the poker theme fit in perfectly because that was a big part of myself and my friend's life in our early 20s. We were hardcore into it during that whole poker wave when that blew up in the early 2000s. And it really fits the theme of the fragrance where, you know, everything you do in life you have to weigh out the risk versus reward. You're gambling with every decision you make in life. And that's what happened here. This is George taking a gamble on myself, on Justin, on Andrea, and really diving out and doing something that no one else has done with content creators in this community. And I really wanted, I thought it was brilliant that he came up with this playing card idea. We went through very few iterations to get to this point. Things like he had me in long sleeves at first. I wanted that, we flip flopped the colors. I had a blue shirt with a red hat prior. But you'll see in true Zaharoff style, we have the metallic colored suits to match the colors here, the red, the blue, the yellow. We have a few floating Z's in there, and then it goes all the way around. It wraps Zaharoff XTLTG reviews. It's just lovely through and through. First class packaging. It is a Zaharoff box, but it looks nothing like your typical Zaharoff fragrance. And then even on the bottom, an all metallic blue reference number. Gorgeous. The Z on top. I just love how this came out. It is fan freaking tastic. So now it makes sense when you look through at the frosted playing card in the background. It goes right along with the box on the front. I couldn't be happier with how this all came out. It is available at the releasing of this video. There's a link down below. We'll take you to the website. Pre-orders officially start right now. 
it is a limited run when they're gone they're gone this isn't one of those things where if there's a high demand and we sell out that we're going to run another batch in a month or two beginning and an end like george wanted start to finish it was all about the artistry and giving an opportunity and i was blessed to be chosen to receive this opportunity and I did everything that I potentially I had the potential to do with my opportunity and I am so proud of what came out here this is a solid year and three months of actual work a roughly year and a half of the idea because we started work um, officially in January of 2020 was when we submitted briefs got our perfumer and started working on the fragrances through many modifications we, I really got what I wanted here it's nuanced it's fresh, it's spicy, it's floral, it's powdery, it's woody, it's got a tauric smokiness from that guaiac wood with that citrusy Palo Santo wood. There's just so much character in this fragrance. It has the longevity without being an overwhelming projection. It's noticeable, but not obnoxious. That's exactly what I wanted here. This is a three season fragrance in my opinion, spring, summer, fall. I did wear it through the winter as well, obviously. So really it could go year round, but it's, it's fresh enough and light and, and wears light enough to work well in high heat, yet has enough density and more than enough character and spice and woods to work in the cooler spring weather, the cooler fall weather, even some cold to slightly cool winter weather. I'm just, I'm so, enthralled with the way this came out it's fantastic i hope for those of you that decide to purchase this will really get the experience all the love and time that was put in to creating this fragrance as well as justin's fragrance and andrea's fragrance make sure you check their videos out as well i'll have i cards randomly throughout the video as well as links down below for you guys to make sure to check out their stuff because they came up with some pretty cool stuff too um Thank you so much, George Zaharoff, for this opportunity to create this. This was a once in a lifetime opportunity for a fragrance enthusiast like myself. Somebody that's really into fragrances dreams of getting the chance to do something like this. And I'm just so humbled and thankful to be able to have done this. You know, for those of you that decide to pick up a bottle, I hope you enjoy what I was able to create uh, because I absolutely love it and if i never get another opportunity like this again i am content i am happy because there's nothing i could have did more to make it more perfect for me at the end of the day that was most important to me is i had to love this for me to be okay with bringing it to market for you guys to want to purchase it and until next time do me a real quick favor go ahead and like comment subscribe because i do appreciate all the feedback and i love hearing from you guys I'm just so happy to finally talk to you guys about this. Um, I have more content to release, part two of the Chicago vlog that shows all the stuff that I couldn't show before. You know, you'll see all of the fragrances. You'll see us talking about it, goofing around. Uh, there's a spot where Andrea actually layered my fragrance with her fragrance. It smells incredible. It's, it's great. And I'm not one for layering, but you add what she did with what I did, and it, it, it's incredible. It really is. Thank you so much once again, George, for the opportunity. Thank you everybody that has watched, everybody that wants to go ahead and pre-order. When they're gone, they're gone. I'd hate for anybody to get FOMO, you know, and miss out if you're interested in getting it. There's no samples available. It's, it's a you know limited bottle run, and when it's over, it's over. And I'm just, I'm so happy. As you can see, I wear it quite often. I've put a little, nice little dent in this bottle already. And until next time, I will say, if you get your hands on business over pleasure, give it a spray now pretty confident you'll thank me later have a good one guys mm -hmm.